just want to do twist and then just do the perm rods or if I just want to do full on perm rods um I kind of just want to do the twist and do the perm rods just because I feel like it'll be a little bit quicker um it's currently like maybe 11 o'clock in the morning and I want to get outside because it's a nice day but we'll see what happens um because I don't have a hooded blow dryer so it might take a long long time to dry and I'm not going to be going outside looking all crazy wearing my rollers in my hair like I'm just not doing that um but let's see I think I'm just gonna do I'm just do like a couple twists and then put the perms and then put the perm rods at the end to give it like that curly wavy look and see how that works out um the products I'm gonna be using today I haven't decided but let's see what I got Okay, so I'm going to be using the TGIN leave-in conditioner and the Mel Rose Twisting Butter. And I am mixing these together and they, mi they mix and they pair pretty well. You notice that they are both like blending in really nicely. I am mixing those two products together and then we're just going to do a couple twists on this side. And a couple twists on this side, then we go in and use the perm rods to give some definition and curl. So that's what we're doing now. And hopefully this comes out looking good because we ain't trying to get a ugly hairstyle. Sunshine, I've been waiting. Sunshine. Why are you playing with my head? So don't let me down I chase away your shadows Away from the crowd I give you my tomorrow Forever now Spotlight from my cell phone Sounds like it's your ringtone I get chills when you call Wanna give successful or not to be honest this is a little bit of a, a little bit of an experiment away from the crowd i give you my tomorrow forever now chills yeah i can chills when you come wanna give you my
So right here you can see I'm doing a little bit of a flat twist. So then that this part of the hair curls too. Hopefully just leave these in for maybe an hour or so. I'm gonna use the blow dryer a little bit, probably on a cool setting to try to speed up the drying process just because I don't wanna be sitting around and waiting for this to dry forever. Cause I feel like because my hair, sometimes it doesn't like to dry quickly and it takes forever to dry. All right, pow, got this side all done. We're gonna go ahead and do this side, then we're gonna come back and see you guys in a bit. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough, too caught up in your love. Trying to forget, but you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you Okay, so now that my hair is all done I'm going to go ahead and put on a hair scarf Just to get some of the flyaways you see a little bit of flyaways at the top, but just to lay down for a little bit, then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go and do some editing on another video that I have, um, which you guys probably will have seen by now, hopefully. Um, and then I'll come back once it's about an hour or two later, probably two hours because it's gonna take some time to dry. And then we'll see what the final result's looking like. Looking like. <laughs> e, I'm back. It's been about two and a half hours almost since I uh, put my twist in and I'm gonna go ahead and take them out because I'm trying to go eat and like I said, I'm not going out looking like this. So the moment of truth have arrived. I did blow dry a little bit um, on high heat, medium heat, um, just because I need these to dry like right now, right now. So I'm gonna take out the back because I started in the back and then we'll do the front. And maybe I'll just take these out, go get something to eat, then come back and then take it all the way out. So I have enough time to dry all the way. The line was so long, it took me literally a whole entire hour just to get some chicken strips and some fries and a large lemonade like I must be crazy but I was gonna sit down I was gonna like go and sit in the parking lot somewhere and just like eat the food enjoy it or whatever why it's hot but see traffic is about to come at five o'clock and I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to be trapped in this traffic I'm trying to be at home so and it's like really gloomy like it just turned to doom and gloom real quick I don't know if y'all can anybody can tell but yeah time to go home time to go home I'm finally back from getting my raisin canes as you guys just saw um, it was okay I think that because there were so many people there and just a lot was happening and plus it took me a whole entire hour in that line um, my hair is definitely dry now it's definitely dry if it's not dry then it's gonna be dry so let's go ahead and take this down see what it's looking like and hopefully it's a success because yeah this is probably gonna be my hairstyle for the next at least two to three days luckily i only have three days left of the work week and 
then we have the weekend again. So here we go. We're gonna use a little bit of this stimulating hair growth oil just to get our scalp a little bit, our scalp is a little bit dry. It needs to not be so dry. Nourish the scalp a little bit. I don't want to be too oily because I don't want my hair to be weighed down, but my scalp is probably pretty dry because I shampooed it, washed it, and all that, and didn't really put any oil in it, so. <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and throw a little bit of that oil on, rub that in, pop. I'm, I'm feeling very hopeful that this will come out nice yeah you always make me feel like oh yeah you you never leave my thoughts alone yeah you you're the reason i'm going out of my i just can't stop thinking about you Okay, here's our takedown on this side. I'm not like completely loving the ends. They're looking a little bit scrags. I don't know if it's just because of the color or maybe I need a little bit of a trim. But still gonna fluff it out a little bit more. But twist outs are not like honestly, twist outs are not my favorite. But I try to do them every once in a while just to see how I like it. <clears throat> Okay, so this is gonna be the final look. What do you think? I actually really like it. So I changed the part to the side because I just feel like it's, gives me more like a cute vibe than the middle part, which the middle part is fine, but I just don't really like the way it was looking. So I had to switch it up a little bit. And I'm loving it. I feel like it needs to be a little bit more fluffy, especially in the back. I'll give y'all a little 360. Hold on, let me fix this up a little bit. So. Hopefully the back doesn't look too gapey. Oh no, I can't see the back of my head, but the curls up close. Kind of give me like a little bit of a, I don't want to say 70s because I don't know, but I just wish that the ends were a little bit more defined. I think that next time I'm definitely going to tweak a few things. I think I definitely need to get a haircut for once. Um, for one, I definitely need to get a haircut so that the ends look a little bit more defined and, um, also if I would have used the perm rods, I think that I could probably have kept them in a little bit longer. Um, we're on a little bit of a time crunch, but that's fine. But next time I will keep them in a little bit longer. Definitely, um, need to trim my ends just so I don't have too many scraggly ends but I think it came out really well. I really like the products that I use. My hair is super soft. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. That's going to be it for now. See y'all in the next video. Peace.